what they didn't have there was a lid without an opening. We're going for a ride today, but first, I gotta put my new cup holder on. I never thought that I was gonna be this person, but things change, right? I always built my bikes to kind of look cool, but now that we're doing more traveling with the bikes, I need to build it for comfort. Before you tell me I should just get a gold wing, <laughs> um, I'm 5'1". And I'm having trouble as it is with a soft tail. So listen, all in time. <laughs> the first small step is a cup holder. I did a poll on my Instagram asking what the best cup holder was. Unanimous that it was Ciro. Ciro reached out to me. They sent me this cup holder. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna install it. And then we're gonna go for a ride, see what it holds. There's two different ones this regular size and there's also the big ass cup holder i opted for the regular size just because i don't really do too many big gulps <laughs> and there's a bee flying around i want to be able to reach for my drink during the long haul so without having to get off my bike go in the saddle bag pull it out take my helmet off like it's just a pain so we're gonna try it around town today but first we have to put this on so if you guys want this or anything else Ciro makes, they make a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff. You will be seeing much more from them, I'm sure, uh, especially for the Road Glide. So I will put my link in the description. They gave me this link. If you want anything, feel free to use that one. Uh, it doesn't cost you any extra to use my link, but they can track that you came from me. So I would be super appreciative if you used that. So let's unbox this. Looks like they sent me the one with the perch mount. All right, so this looks like some spacers and some screws. Uh, directions. I think we can figure it out. Here's the cup holder. Lunch for later on. And they have a really cool like ball mount system they use for all their stuff. So I'm excited to see how that works. This is the cup holder. You can get this in chrome or black. So obviously, what was I gonna get? <laughs> so this is the hard plastic up here and then this is thick but like pliable for where your drink goes. Let's get mounting this. I almost forgot. We have to do our ponytail scale. I'm gonna cut out all these half ponytails and ponytail holders and we're just gonna go for one ponytail for this it is so easy okay now normally here's where my bike's a little different normally you can pick which side that you would want the perch mount but since I have these different levers I got rid of that little assembly on my bike so I can't put it on this side so this isn't even an option. So I have to put it on this side. I'm going to take these out and then those are gonna be replaced with the screws from Ciro with the perch mount. Almost forgot. Cover your tank. I think I'm gonna just take one out to start. So that's the size of the screws. Put the screws in and spacers on. I hope that's gonna work. Hmm. I might need the shorter threads actually. Oh, yep. Shorter threads. All right, 
So I did need the ones with the shorter threads. It's hard I'm trying to hold it with my hands, with my one hand, so that it doesn't move too much from where I have it. Oh, see? Whoa, that would have been bad if I didn't cover the tank. Okay, so now check this out. This is adjustable. I wonder if I should have put it upside down. Oh well, we gotta try everything out, right? So I could I could loosen these up and slide it up a little more. All right, so loosen that a little bit. And now I can rotate this to wherever I want. So I'm gonna put it in a little bit. I think I want this upside down, man. So this just pushes right onto that ball mount. And then this screws on to make it tighter. So we'll put this on here. Clip that on. And then we can tighten this, not too tight wherever we want this to be. I am not gonna want it this high. Nope, that's way too high. <laughs> I'm gonna want that lower. I'm gonna flip it so it's upside down, I think. No, uh-oh. All right. To get one of them in. I do have my, this is giant. It does fit in there, which I am surprised. It's not too bad, it's not as high. I think that's much better than being up high for me anyway. We're gonna go take this for a spin, see how it does. And uh, I need more coffee, so let's go get some coffee. Hopefully it doesn't rain. The humidity feels like it's gonna rain. All right. Man, it's not coming out of there. Not unless I hit an evil Knievel ramp. Now that we're planning on traveling more and taking longer rides without stopping, now that I have a bike that I don't have to fuel up every hour, pulling over just to take a drink is annoying. You have to pull your whole bike over. You gotta pull your cup out of your saddle bag, take your helmet off, unless you got a straw, then you don't have to. And there were so many times that I just wanted to like stop at a light because I just wanted, I just want a little sip. And I couldn't do that. So, and I didn't want to pull over every time I want a little sip of something. So I'm pretty excited about this. Anthony and I, when we travel together, we have our Senna's and we talk the whole time because it's just fun. You know, unless I don't want to hear his voice anymore, then I could just shut it off. <laughs> but, uh, so we talk the whole time and you know, you get parched when you just keep talking. This is what I've always been dreaming of. It may be simple, but you know what? Some of the creature comforts are just a necessity. <laughs> And it's just nice. So, I mean, who cares? I'm not gonna always want this on here, but I can just unscrew this and leave this end piece in here. So that's not very intrusive. And the other thing, I'm not sure, you gotta be careful too, when you put it upside down like I did, if you have low bars and risers. 
so I have I don't have stock height risers I have eight inch risers two inch pullback um, I think if these were stock height this might kind of hit here doing turns and stuff so just like when you flip your mirrors or when you mount anything to the bars before you go out you want to make sure you have clearance you don't want to go out and realize you don't have the clearance whether it's you can't turn your bars or you scratch your paint whatever that is um, you always want to do like a full turn on your bars to make sure you got full clearance I think I made a good choice getting the regular size I was so torn between like the big ass but the big ass one would be so giant and really how much do I really need I mean if you watch my babes ride out video you know how many pit stops I have to make after I drink coffee so that would just be a terrible idea for me to have like a giant cup holder <laughs> Do you have tops like for straws or is it just the ones with the open mouths? We have the open mouths, but we do have Okay. Like Thank you. So this might be a problem. Hmm. That's in there. It's pretty oh that that's gonna spill. I'm gonna need to drink some of that first. <laughs> so best advice I got. I just texted Anthony while I was sitting here and I said, hey. Think the straw is gonna fly out? Cause it's just a paper straw. So he said, "Oh, you won't know until you try." <laughs> Which is solid advice. I mean, that's how we live our life. So let me take one more sip. Mm. Oh, delicious. I think we'll test it out. Put in the comments now. Do you think the straw is gonna fall out? <laughs> Let's see. I gauged the splash height <laughs> with that other shaker cup. And it was like probably that much. And that's my scientific way of knowing exactly how much to measure to drink before I left. Uh, but what they didn't have there was a lid without an opening. So. I'm gonna have to take my chances. So far, so good. We're doing like 50. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little splashy. So first impressions, I mean, would recommend, absolutely. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, it would be much more convenient to I don't know. Let's let's try it. Uh, uh, uh. I did it! <laughs> I did it! That was tough though. That was tough. Because I have the chin curtain. <laughs> if you didn't have the chin curtain, that would be super easy. Well, we're just gonna get on the main road here and I would say this is pretty successful this isn't going anywhere this isn't going anywhere and the cups not going anywhere but again Ciro makes quality products they're such a great company and I really do believe in them so again if you want anything not just the cup holder they do all kind they do lighting and all kinds of different parts so check them out great people over there so guys that's gonna do it <laughs> look at this cup that's gonna do it for today thanks for watching thanks for taking the ride with me for coffee I mean these are important things make sure you subscribe hit that like button and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I put out new videos and until next time you ride safe and I'll catch you on the next one Oh!
was so close. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh! <laughs> we were close. Cup holder, phenomenal. Cup, not so much. Thank you.